What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com, continuing our series on learning SketchUp in 30 days. In today's video, we're going to talk about how to use views and styles in order to create different elevation and section views in your model. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so this is a model I downloaded from the 3D warehouse. So it's the cottage or cabin from Son of a Gun. So if you want to download it and follow along, you can do that in the 3D warehouse. But first thing we want to do is we want to create some simple exterior views of this building showing elevations. And so remember that this works in both the free version and the desktop version. It's just that the buttons are in a little bit different place. Um, but what we want to do is we want to start by going into our display settings and clicking on one of these default views. So these default views are going to allow you to set um, a straight on view of your model. If you're in the desktop version, you can just go into the views toolbar and pick the front view right here. But then what we need to do is right now, this isn't a true elevation view, right? What it is, is it's a front on view with perspective where things are going back to a vanishing point. We truly want this to be something that doesn't have any kind of vanishing. We want it to be a straight on view. Well, to do that, you can just toggle on parallel projection by clicking on this button right here. Well, notice how as soon as you do that, the perspective goes away and this is actually truly a straight on view. And again, same thing in the desktop version, you can go to camera parallel projection in order to toggle this on. And so now what I want to do is I want to save this as a scene. And so to do that, we can just be in the display or the scenes section and we're going to click on the plus button right here to save this as a scene, right? So now we've got this front elevation view of our cabin. And so I like to do a few different things with this, but it really depends on what you're trying to do. Um, one thing that I like to do is I like to create a black and white elevation view. And so you can do that by going into your styles and either picking one of the default styles or making your own. In this case, I'm just going to pick a default style, which is going to be this hidden line right here. And so notice what the hidden line does is it creates or it, it loads a style that doesn't show textures, it just shows the lines that are in here. And you could adjust this by coming in here and clicking on this button, maybe turning on like profiles or something like that in order to make the edges a little bit thicker. So if I bump this up to like a two, then all of my edges are going to be more pronounced. The other thing I'm probably gonna do is I'm gonna go down, go down and I'm gonna turn my model axes off and I'm gonna click on done. And so that's gonna save those changes to this style. But now I wanna make sure that I go back and I create another view that has this style loaded. So now I can click back and forth between them like this. One other thing that I like to do on my exterior elevations, and this is something that I picked up from Nick Sonder, is I like to add shadows. So I'm gonna click on this little button right here for display, and we're gonna turn our shadows on. And what I like to do is I like to set the shadows where they're kind of cast across the surface a little bit on the front side. And you can adjust things like the date and time in order to make this more look the way that you want. But you can use this in order to add some kind of like depth to your scene. It doesn't work as well on this front view only because this is mostly glass. So um, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna save this. So we're just gonna go back into our settings and update our scene and click on OK. That's gonna save that. But we might do it also from the side so this side or that side, depending on what you're trying to do. But again, we're just going to use our shadows in order to add a little bit of depth coming across our surface. And then I'm just gonna go back into my display settings and I'm gonna click on plus. So now I have a side elevation. So now I can click between these different elevations just like this. And so this works great for exterior elevations. It doesn't take a whole lot of time to set them up and then adjust them. So notice how I was able to reset my camera angle like that really quick. So, som so sometimes you wanna create an interior view of your cabin. And by the way, if we, uh, if we click on this and we add an isometric view, that's actually a really cool view. Um, I actually really like that. So um, I like both of these. So I might actually save those as scenes just because I can. So I really like the way that those look. But now let's go back into perspective mode for just a second, um, just while we're moving around in here. Well, what I wanna do is let's say that I wanted to create a view of this kitchen that's in here like this, like a straight on view, right? So there's two ways you can do that. So if you wanna create an interior section, the first way is you can click 
on your little tape measure tool right here and go over and select the option for a section plane. And so then I can tap the right arrow key to lock it up like this. And then I'm gonna click on this view right here and go to the side like this. And you probably wanna to toggle your shadows off because you don't really want your shadows showing on the inside of your scene. But then what we can do is we can go back into our scene and turn on parallel projection like this. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find the angle that I want and I'm gonna save that as a scene as well. So I'm just gonna click the plus button right here. It's asking if we wanna save the style changes that we made, in this case, turning the shadow off. Um, I'm gonna say save as a new style because I don't wanna overwrite the old style that I was using. But notice how this allowed me to quickly create this interior section view. And again, you could create another view so I'm gonna click on the plus button right here, and then I'm gonna adjust the style so that I have a more typical style like this. So notice how when I adjust this with the more typical style, um, it's gonna give me a fully textured view. What you might consider is you might consider going into your um, default style settings and adjusting it so the faces, instead of being textured, are shaded. Right, so if they're shaded, the textures can sometimes be overwhelming, but you can click on the shaded option and that's basically going to show the colors of the materials that are in your model, but not the texture images. And then I'm gonna click on done. And so now that that's done, I'm gonna go back and I'm going to update the scene, the scene six. So I'm just going to click on the refresh button right here to update this and click on okay. And so now I have two scenes in here that are showing this elevation view. And so there is another way to do this because say, say that you wanted to create a bunch of different section views, this can get really overwhelming, right? Um, because you can have a bunch of different section views facing a bunch of different directions. And so one thing that you can do is I'm going to start by adding a top-down section view really quick. So I'm going to create this top-down view right here. And I'm going to adjust this so that I can see in my building. And then I'm gonna go into my display settings and I'm gonna turn section planes off. But another way that you can do this is if you're in parallel projection mode right here, you can actually use the position camera tool right here. So we're gonna click on position camera and this is only going to work if you have parallel projection turned on, but you can actually click and drag inside of a scene like this. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna place your camera in that location and it's gonna clip out everything that's behind your camera. And so what this allows us to do is this allows us to create a section view of a room inside of SketchUp without having to add a section plane. And then we can come in here and we can click on the plus button right here to add a scene. And so in that way, we can use this in order to create multiple different section views. So again, I'm just gonna rotate this this way. And one thing about that is let's say we wanted another view maybe looking at our stair or something like that. So we're gonna use position camera, click and drag, and you need to click and drag along an axis in order to really get the straight on view that you're looking for. But then I could also toggle my section cuts off like this. And so notice what that does is that hides that section cut that we had in here, and it's using just the view that we created with the position camera tool. So then I can click on the plus button right here, and I'm gonna save as a new style again. I don't wanna overwrite my old styles. And so you can do that as many times as you want in a model without having to add section planes in here to get this interior section view of your model. All right, so I'll link to the next video in this series as soon as it's ready to go. Leave a comment below. Let me know if you have any questions about anything we talked about in this video. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.